Welcome back, welcome back to another video. You have a body right here. So today I'm in Carnifing Institutional Area. And this is the place where most of the offices in Carnifing are. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you around. You can see over there is where you have social security, social security and housing. Okay. Um, yeah, let me just zoom in the place. I don't want to walk all the way to that place. I just wanted to show you where the offices are. If you wanted to locate these offices. Okay. And I I'm going to be showing you also where they make ID cards and alien cards inside the Gambia. Okay. That is the social security building over there. And uh, I'm going to take this road. I'm going to take this road. This is the main kind of thing, mosque. You have the uh, Gambia Statistics Bureau. That is this building over here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this road and then I'm gonna come out from uh, the other side and show you the other offices that are over this side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna walk uh, because the offices are a little bit far from one another. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, be pausing the, the video and maybe uh, when I get to one of the offices, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, just before I pass, this is the West African International School. I think they, uh, they have two, um, uh, two campus. This is the, I think the Gina School, and uh, to the other side of the road, you will have the Senior School over there. And this is the Gambia Statistics Bureau. Uh, this is where, these are the institution that is responsible for doing sensors in the country okay so i'm gonna walk past it and right opposite it around the junction uh, when i get to this junction let me just walk a little bit faster you can see right on that signboard you have echoas okay let me just turn off the zoom so that it will be very clear okay so that is the gambia okay bureau of statistics like I said, these are the institutions that are responsible for doing uh, sensor statistics and so on. Okay, so you can see from this board, you have Gambia Biometric Identification System. And that is the main building over there. So right now they have closed. And during the day, you can see there will be a lot of people here looking for ID cards, re renewing their license or applying for license, alien cards as well. So that's where you can have them okay so to give you a good direction that is the main highway okay to banyul and also towards um uh town table uh, towards uh Bacau, i think okay so those vehicles the vehicles that are going this way are going to banyul the ones going this way are going towards um uh Bacau. maybe Bacau, maybe um yeah town table we call it traffic light we call it traffic light so I'm gonna take this road okay and this this massive building right here slow on here <clears throat> and this massive building right here is a, a medical center it's a new building okay a new medical center that's uh, just started I'm, I'm not sure whether they started uh, operation okay so I'm gonna pause it when I get there so I can show you the building all right okay so it is um, Egyptian Medical Center. If you can see the signboard over there, Egyptian Medical Center. So it is uh, the building just completed. I think they are doing the final touches. You can see those um, stack or oh, that stack. Is it called scaffolding or stacking metals? So that um, they are using that to do the final touches. Okay, I'm gonna go to the front of the building. I don't think they've started operation yet because you can see they are still doing some work. And right uh, beside it, that's the American International um, School. Okay, so this is a medical school. Uh, they focus more on or they specialize more on um, medical courses. Okay, so I'm gonna um, go this way and that is where you have GRA Gambia Revenue Authority that's one of the branches where the car is parked over there okay so I'm gonna go over there you can see right there is around the stadium that is the Friendship Hotel 
So I'm gonna pause the video when I get to GRA, show you the GRA and then cross it onto the highway. And here you have female, um, female lawyers association that is right beside GRA. You have female lawyers association. All right. I'm not sure by this other office, or maybe it's still the same um, uh, statistics office. And that is the GRA, that is Gambia Revenue Authority. They are kind of in branch, so you can see there are a lot of offices around this end, this area of kind of thing. So I think that's why they call it um, kind of thing institutional um, area. Okay, so by this time the offices are closed, so most people would uh, leave the office by 4 o'clock, latest 5. Okay, most people will be gone home. Alright, so I'm gonna walk towards the highway, and, and then maybe I'm gonna go this way because I was just from this other side. Okay, that is the the the. the the signboard for the Ibujan Theater, I think it's somewhere around this place. Somewhere around this place, I think you're gonna go through that um, right between this building and the international, uh, the West African International School. I think somewhere around there is where you have this Ibujan Theater. I think it's the theater where you uh, um, people go to watch um, movies, you know, um, movies dramas and so on okay so that's the junction that i used okay i'm just gonna be um yeah let me just take this road so that's the main mosque that's the main kind of thing mosque not the main kind of thing mosque, but around this institutional area so i'm gonna uh keep moving that is another branch of the west african uh international school okay the west African International School that's the senior school I guess I think the senior school is over here and moving forward you have uh, some medical centers uh, some American medical center or uh, some guy that left US and came here to uh, open uh, a medical institution or a medical center called InnovaX okay uh, understand I heard that they have very good medical doctors that we are trained in the US <laughs> so those are the car washers or car washing um, guys over here there are a lot of car wash over there you can see there's another one here oh the sun would not allow me to have a good shot from there I don't know what this place is okay i don't know what that one is so this way this other road will take you deep down in back okay it will take you to back so i think i'll do a video on back so that you see how back also looks like for you guys that are um, that are out there for a while you've not come down to gambia and you want to see back hopefully we'll be able to do that video and that is the the wow that's the fence of the of the independent stadium over there. I'm gonna show you that. Hopefully, maybe I'm gonna do some few drones so, so they can see the area as well. And that is the gum works. That is gum works right here. I don't wanna keep this video very long, but I'm just gonna walk a little bit faster or I'll be pausing the video so that I can also show you some other offices around this end. Because you have a uh, Gambia electric election uh, I think the, the body that does the election counting and all that is just right in front of us. We have another medical center right here. You can see that orange building right on my left side. Okay, so this Vestel, I think these people are, I think they sell building material. It looks like the shop right on top there is for rent. And like I said, this is Gamworks. Come walk right here. So this road will take you straight to Methodist Academy. Okay, Gambia Methodist Academy. And then towards the main highway to Banjo. 
So most of these vehicles that are going will go all the way to the main highway up there and then they can branch on the left side to go to Banyul and if you go towards the right you're gonna go to Westfield to Tabokoto all the way down to Lamen. So that is Vastel office for rent. So if you wanna rent an or if you wanna get an office it looks like this place is for rent. And that is the um, Nigerian embassy. Yeah, they have medical and I can't read that text very clearly. I think it's a medical center as well. And you have uh, Nana. I think these people specialize on food and nutrition. Those are the offices that are over there with these coconuts around. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess I cover a lot. Okay, I wanted to show you that medical center. Uh, that um, American medical center. The video is getting a little bit longer than I expected or that I want it to be. But um, yeah, let me just pause. Um, keep a, pause the video for a while. When I get there, I'm gonna unpause it. Okay, so this is medical and dental council of the Gambia. It looks like that's their office. It's a new office. I'm not sure whether they've started occupying this place yet because it's fairly new because this is um, one of the new buildings that are over here. Like I said, this is NANA National Food and Nutrition Agency. As you can see on the sideboard right over there. Okay, and that is the election house. Wow, so this place sometimes the drivers will be running very fast. So especially in the evening you can see that vehicle that is over speeding. Okay, and that is the election house. The body that is responsible for doing elections in the Gambia. And almost opposite the election house is where you have the Innova X, that medical um, center that I was telling you about, um, is just right at that building over there, that gold building, just below the, I think the fourth, the fourth floor, or not floor, the ground floor. I mean, let me just get there once and for all. And just before I pass, that is the election house, and this is a place where they sell second hand products or goods from Europe it looks like they have some new materials as well yeah they have some new materials as well a lot of subs coming down here this place is most of these places where uh, vacant some time back but it looks like um, the subs are being occupied now this one also is fairly new it's a new building you can see um, it's like it's not yet occupied and that right on top there you have Fatu Golding Plaza. Okay, and a lot of services also available right here. Okay, and um, that's where you have the Innova Rex that I was telling you about. Uh, I talked with the one of the founder to do a video about to do a bit video about their services and you can see right over there below on the ground you have Innovarex okay I understand oh I had there it is a very good um, medical medical providers or medical service providers all right so I'm gonna cut the video right here I hope you enjoyed the video you know a little bit about uh, Carnifying Institutional Area and um, yeah see you in another video